In this video, we're gonna laser engrave this coin, laser cut this pouch, and I'm giving away both files if you wanna make them for yourself or for your customers. I'm gonna start by engraving the coin because it's gonna take the longest amount of time. And to do that, I'm gonna use my 60 watt OMG fiber laser and light burn. So let's import the image. If you're following along and doing a version for yourself, the image is gonna import much larger than the coin that you're most likely gonna be engraving. So we're gonna to have to resize it. I'm using a 40 millimeter coin. So I'm gonna create a 40 millimeter circle here. And then I'm going to offset it by 1.5 because that's gonna be the interior border of my coin. And now I'm going to change the overall dimensions of the coin to match the interior border here, which will be 37 millimeters. Next step, all I need to do is select all three of these objects at once, come up to the top toolbar here, click on the little bullseye button, and it automatically centers my coin design inside of our coin template there. Now, as far as settings go, I already have some brass coin engraving settings saved that I like to use. So I'm gonna come down to my material library, click on my brass coin entry, click on engraving and then deep engraving. And then I'm gonna assign those values to the current layer that I'm using. If you wanna know the exact settings that I'm using for this engraving, you can find them listed in the blog post for this project, which is linked in the video description below. Next step, we'll run a quick preview just to make sure everything's looking good. There's no anomalies in my file and this is looking nice. So time to run it. The coin I'll be engraving is a 40 millimeter solid brass blank from a shop called Umberry. all done engraving. You can clean and polish them up by hand, but I'm gonna use my magnetic tumbler so I can get started on that coin pouch while it works its magic. The leather I'm using for my case is an Italian vegetable tan leather called Pueblo. There's a lot of debate over which kinds of leather are and are not safe for laser cutting, so I recommend just sticking to pure vegetable tan leather and you'll be good to go. The thickness is 1.5 millimeter, and if you're gonna use my design, I recommend not going too much thicker than that, otherwise it might be a tight fit for the coin. As far as masking the leather before cutting goes, there is no right or wrong answer here, but I usually prefer masking because it helps keep the grain surface from getting scorched while it's in the laser. Just make sure to use a low tack masking tape or apply a little conditioner first like I'm doing here to avoid ripping the leather surface when you remove it. The laser I'm using to cut and engrave the leather is my trusty X-Tool P2. If you're looking for a laser that's great for cutting and engraving small leather goods like this, I highly recommend checking one out. There's a link in the video description below. Since I'm gonna be cutting on my P2, I'm gonna be using Creative Space 2.0 to do all of my processing. So let's import the SVG and spice it up a little bit. Next, I wanna add a couple little graphics for engraving. So I'm gonna put a little skull right here. And then above it on this section up here, I'm just gonna put my initials. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now it's time to lay the graphics out on the material here. You can see the picture of the inside of the laser bed, what I'm working on. I'm not usually a big camera in lasers guy. I don't use them that much, but I will say when using my P2, I kind of like it.
Everything's looking good. Let's run this job. I use a thin layer of glue only to hold the pieces together for the stitching process. I recommend using a water-based leather glue for this type of work. To finish up the pouch, I'll be saddle stitching by hand using a waxed flat braided polyester thread. With the pouch all finished up, let's check out how the coin's doing. And here's what the polished coin looks like after I fish it from that murky sludge. Next, I'm gonna give the coin a bath in some brass black, which will chemically oxidize the brass and turn it, well, black. Once it's good and dark, I take some very fine steel wool and remove the oxidation from the surface so it's only dark in the recessed areas of the coin. And here's a look at our finished Memento Mori coin with leather pouch. I love the leather pouch because it's another thing you could customize specifically for your customers, which a lot of other coin engravers aren't doing. A little extra added value. If you want to try this out yourself, there's a link in the video description below with instructions on how to get the files and also a link to the blog post for this project where I show you all of my settings and links to everything I used here. As always, thanks for watching.